Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about whether or not a narcissist can change. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissist personality disorder to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. When it comes to a narcissist, most of them will breadcrumb you with false promises of change, that future faking to distract you from the pain of the present by getting you to focus on the future. They will hoover you back into their games with, I'm sorry if you, I'm sorry but, I need your help, those pity plays. They will hoover you back in with the promises of going to counselling. So this video is to explore more about whether or not a narcissist can truly change because most of us cling on to that hope that they can which is why most of us stay trapped in the toxic cycle of the relationship. There's many reasons why people stay trapped. One of those is the belief that we've brought out their toxic side and if we change we can help bring out their nice side. Not understanding that both sides of them is who they are and both sides of them is to manipulate us to meet a need of their own. Psychologists and researchers suggest they haven't found one that has changed yet. They are still working on methods. The narcissist personality disorder is on a spectrum. There is those who will never change. They will change temporarily to exploit somebody. Most are capable of changing on a permanent basis. However, they either don't want to or they don't see themselves as the problem. Therefore, they're not going to. It also takes hard work. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes self-awareness. A narcissist doesn't want to be aware of their wrongdoings and they want the quick fix. They don't want to put the hard work in. If they have narcissist personality disorder, they have a disorder. It is who they are as a person. They don't lose that disorder. They don't change out of that disorder. They can change their treatment towards other people. However, they don't change this treatment on a permanent basis as the underlying reason to why they change towards people is the characteristics of their disorder. When they're envious of somebody, if they feel entitled to have what somebody else wants, they will turn on the charm, the arrogance, they'll believe that they are better than others and go all out to take that from somebody. If they can't take it from somebody, they change into the envious narcissist that seeks to destroy people, devalue people, hurt people, pull others down because they are envious of what that other person has, whether that is qualities or possessions. Narcissists can manage themselves very, very well when they're wanting to exploit somebody. They can be the nicest person you've ever met, yet when they're wanting to destroy somebody, they are the most horrendous person you can ever meet. They can control their behaviour when required to do so. As they don't see any wrongdoing within their behaviour, they just see it that other people might expose them or other people might judge them. They cover their behaviour. They cover their tracks. They can change because they change their lies, they change their manipulation methods, they change their partners, they change history, they change people's realities. What they don't change is themselves. They, they don't change their manipulative games because their manipulative games work for them. They cannot change to 
heal their narcissism. However, they can change their behaviour and plenty of them do. You've seen it yourself how one minute they can be so nice towards you and the next minute they are so cruel towards you. How they go from treating you so badly to treating you so nice or treating you so badly to then treating everybody else so kindly. The problem is once they've put that nice face out there, once they've treated people right, once they've met their need, their true selves show. If their needs aren't being met, out come those tantrums, out come those devaluations, out come those insults to pull other people down. The problem has never been that they cannot change, the problem is most of them don't want to change. For them their behaviour works for them and it's other people that need to change. They are constantly seeking to change those around them and those around them are usually gaslighted into changing themselves time and time again because they feel like they're to blame for the narcissist toxic side not realizing that that's on the narcissist not them a narcissist might have built big walls to protect themselves from some form of childhood trauma they might have gone into flight mode however that does not entitle them to go around hurting other people that means they need to work on themselves and if they are unwilling to work on themselves you will not be able to help them changing who you are as a person will not help them change into the person they sold themselves to be to you they might not have developed the attachment to care for others in moments of disagreements. So when things are going well, when things are going how the narcissist wants, they can seemingly come across as somebody who cares about others. However, as soon as things aren't going the narcissist way, they lack that object consistency. So as soon as there is conflict, or distance or disagreements, the narcissist can switch off that ability and just no longer care for the person. And with their limited empathy, they don't care for how their behaviour affects others. Therefore, they don't have a big enough reason to change their behaviour. The only time they change their behaviour is if their behaviour is going to impact themselves. They change if their behaviour is going to have negative consequences on themselves, negative effects on themselves. They don't change because their behaviour is having negative impacts on those around them, on those they claim to care about. If they loved you in the ways they claimed they loved you, they wouldn't hurt you in the ways that they deny they hurt you. Their insecurities run deep. Being able to admit to their insecurities and their wrongdoings would take great strength. It would take great courage. They don't want to do this. They want to exploit people. They want to put on that charm. They want to be that arrogant person that charms everybody in the room into believing the narcissist is somebody that they are not. They change reality that many times some more likely than not change reality on themselves. They pass all their embarrassment, all their shame, all their guilt onto those around them so that they don't have to deal with their emotions. They pass the blame over to others so they don't have to deal with their actions, so that they don't feel responsible for their actions. And as they're not going to take responsibility for their behaviour, they're not going to change their behaviour. However, because they've passed the responsibility over to you for their behaviour, they believe that you're at fault for their behaviour. So therefore, they believe that you're the one that needs to change and they gaslight you into changing then they offer that intermittent reinforcement that reward punishment and when you've changed to suit them when when you're under their control they bring that nice side back out to confirm within your mind that it's you that needed to change and not them when you do begin to wake up to what is happening to you is when they if they haven't got somebody else lined up to give them that supply, that's when they bring that admiration seeking face back out to suck you back into their games. In order to change, people have to recognise 
who they are as a person. Most narcissists don't recognise who they are as a person. Those who do believe that their behaviour works for them. When you've got characteristics running in the background, such as entitlement, exploitation, envious, a lack of empathy, preoccupied with self, a belief that they are special, that arrogance within a narcissist is a mixture for disaster because they are preoccupied, even if they are aware of their behaviour, they are preoccupied with creating their ultimate fantasies of power and success, whatever it is to that individual narcissist. They are preoccupied with exploiting people to get their entitlement met with a lack of empathy to care. So even those who are aware lack the empathy to care. They believe their behaviour works for them. Therefore, they're only ever going to change on a temporary basis to exploit you, to manipulate you. They are not going to change because they don't have a big enough reason to want to change. It's a big enough job changing who we are as a person. We are not responsible to help somebody else change. They've got to go away and change for themselves. And with a narcissist, you need to be careful because when they go away, they're usually exploiting somebody else. And when they haven't been able to manipulate that other person or it's not working out as they wanted, they then come back to hoover you, to suck you back in. They haven't changed. They just feel like you will supply them with what they need because they're envious of something you have and when you're not supplying them with what they need because they are envious of other people they will go all out to destroy you when it comes to a narcissist the best thing you can do is walk away and let life educate them while you go and educate yourself to go and live your best life because you do deserve to have a happy life any advice you have please do add it into the comments this channel is all about building a community of support for each other so that people can start to bring out the best in each other and leave those who try to bring out the worst in you thank you for listening bye